The New York State Senate passed a bill on Monday to legalize and regulate mixed martial arts fights. But as amateur fighter Ji Hoon Han explains, this means much more than just legalization. MMA is technically still allowed in the state of New York. According to Han, new regulation that already exists elsewhere could improve safety and quality for New York fighters. You can compete at the amateur level. The only thing is it's not regulated by a governing body, which every other state does except for the state of New York, which means that there's blood tests, HIV tests, pregnancy tests for female fighters. Uh, without that, it's, it's dangerous. You don't know if you're going against a fighter that's you know potentially has a disease. Uh, that's you know harmful so uh, it's it's actually imperative and important that this bill gets passed for safe for the safety of the fighters that are competing the bill could also be beneficial to local businesses such as impact DeWitt. impact owner Jason Nolan believes that with legalization more people in New York could be drawn to the sport you know anything that raises the visibility of the martial arts is probably a good thing um, uh, there's a unique subset of people that actually want to do this as a sport Nolan also believes that legalization could allow people who train in his gym to compete in more events because in the past, in-state fights were deemed unsafe. Uh, the reason why we didn't you know, have people do them in the past was because they were all amateur fights. They were you know, mostly unregulated on a reservation or they're in a different state, which means that you're driving to a different state on a weekend for a fight where a fighter probably isn't going to win any money. The bill passed by the Senate on Monday was the seventh time such a bill has made its way through, and not once has it ever been voted on by the Assembly. Supporters think this time may be different, though, as Governor Andrew Cuomo has carved out space in the state budget for it. For NCC News, I'm Joe Leonard.